Today we are spending $1,000 on TCG player, but I'm letting Twitch chat decide what we buy. Yeah, this this will be interesting for sure. Last year, I haven't revealed what happened last year yet. That's going to be, I think, tomorrow or maybe the next day. You'll see how my $1,000 did. A uh, spoiler alert, not great. OK, I'm going to make a list. I'm going to I'm going to type some down. We've got engage Dasa and we'll come back to them and decide what we're going to do. All right. Next thing is Mega Pack 22 cards. I honestly don't feel great about those, but uh, you guys can decide. Then we have Rose. So we got Rose, uh, the non Starlight Rare. It's one dollar here. It's one nineteen. So if we were to get it like more than one, we'd have to get more than a dollar. No engage, no Rose. All right, we're putting up another poll. I have no clue what I'm voting for. Well, you better vote yes or no. Why are these so close every time? OK, we are getting a Rose by one vote. Why? Why are they so close? Okay, this is our first purchase. How many do we want to buy? Do we want to buy one? Because if we buy two, we got to buy multiple. I think we could buy three. Just go for a play set, right? I would buy six of these. Okay, that makes sense. So let's see. If we had to buy six, it'd be, we'd have to buy from this guy, this guy. That's four, five, two from here. Then this guy, this guy. If we're getting the cheapest price. Add to cart. Okay, sunny starlight. Okay, let's look at the sunny. This sucker is going down it is 234 dollars what do we think about this should we buy this for this much sort of but no i think one is good too expensive no i think this will go way down i kind of feel the same way i don't think we should go for this one okay ghost from the past two let's check that out we haven't done those we've got rda which is cheap we got blue eyes ultimate dragon we got dad i think dad has strong potential being an edison format look it's already come back up a little bit but near mint 43 dollars not bad if the ghosts were actually pretty yeah they are a little weird they're a little uh gray unfortunately that is nice it could go up what do you guys think should we go for the dad i think we should go for this 43.28 uh we're getting one we only want one right or should we buy multiple what do you guys think one equals good okay most of you guys are saying one <laughs> so we now have a total of 46.66 all right our next thing we have is colossal fighter ulti i think we're gonna get this this card right now is 80 bucks i think 88 bucks I think we should grab this unless you guys have a, a problem with this one. I think this is a good pickup for Edison, for uh, any for a bunch of old formats, ultimate rare, turbo pack ultra or ulti, the only one in the set. I think we should get one. Well, how do you guys feel about this? $100 card easy? Yeah, I agree. It is a sleeper classic. One couldn't hurt. I mean, it could hurt, but hopefully it doesn't. Get three. We could get three. I think we'll get one probably for this, right? All right, we'll do it. We'll get one. 88 bucks. Cataster, another thing that I like. This card, Near Mint, is 70 bucks. That seems pretty solid. The last year, it's gone up a lot already, but it's come down a little bit. 70 bucks for an unlimited Cataster. I like this one. Cataster has a lot of printings. Yeah, but this is the big one. This is the good one. That's why I like it. Well, we got to spend some money. You know, we got a thousand bucks, so some of them got to be good. Cataster it is, 70 bucks. All right, Ash, even if it gets an ulti, this is still a pretty nice one, I think. I think it will get a high rarity this year, but the Prismatic Secret, well, how much does it cost? Let's check the price before I say anything. It's already come way down. That's that's actually good. That's what we want. We want to be buying when it's cheap. This is under $10. You can buy commons for this much half the time. I like this. Under $10 Ash Blossom. I am in on the Ash Blossom bandwagon. What do you guys think? I think we should buy a play set of these. I agree. Maybe even six. I'd be down to buy two play sets of this. Should we buy double? play set i want to buy six we can even buy nine i don't care we're gonna put, put a poll for how many we should buy because i think we know we want to buy this three six or nine put your votes in okay the winner is six 18 votes on six 13 on nine seven on three so we're getting six ash blossoms okay so now we're at we had a 59.94 to that what's our total 264 we're about a quarter of the way through guys do we want to get this pot of desires ultimate rare this card's not expensive it's there's it's at two right now so maybe if it went to three it's only 55 dollars you can go up to three anytime yeah that's true it might come back to three okay you guys like it 54.98 let's just go ahead and do it Okay, so trap, trip, trap. it's like 30 i think do we want to buy a trap this guy has six of them six of them tempting just buy all six. I'm tempted. It's only 180. It's an Astro Pack ulti. They will not go down. Looks pretty good. You guys seem like you, you, you're on my side. You guys seem like you want to buy this. Buy six. <laughs> Should we do it? All right, let's do it. Screw it. Screw it. Let's do it. Okay, so that's six at 28.99. It's also the same seller, which is nice. 
All right, then I put Toon. Is there anything Toon we should buy? Gear Gamma is too expensive. We're definitely not buying that. I did like the Toon Kingdom a little bit, but it's a little weird. The new Toon BLS could be stonks. Yeah, we could buy the reprint of the Toon BLS that just came out. Okay, 784. This isn't bad at all. Toon Blackluster Soldier, Battles Legend, Crystal Revenge. It's a short print. I, yeah, I know. It's really hard to pull. We could buy one maybe right at some point tunes will come with a new set so take the opportunity two to three we can get three i mean it's up to y'all this is y'all decision what do you, you want to get two or three i'm not confident with this i'm not either all right let's put it up for a vote most people said one so we're gonna do one one of them from top card shop 784 Okay, our next thing on the spreadsheet is Drill Warrior. I think somebody wanted the ulti for Drill Warrior. That's probably expensive. We're going to check. Oh, this isn't crazy, actually. First, it's 45. Wait, what? I guess this deck got it good and then it kind of fell off, but it, this isn't very much. Should we buy a Drill Warrior? It's not thought of as bad, didn't it? But wasn't it good and then it kind of wasn't as good? It was like a top deck. It is now bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, it isn't very good. All right, Constellar. Constellar. We just have Constellar on here. What what Constellar specifically? I don't know. Somebody said Constellar wrote it down. I don't know what this is for though. Okay. Should we skip the Constellers? Are we out on that? Okay. Doesn't seem like anybody's hype for Constellers. So I'm going to move on from those. Let's go to Instant Fusion Ulti, I think. Okay. The, oh, the Ulti is expensive out of here. It is a beautiful card though. This is also from OTS4, which is one of the most annoying sets to find. For the year, it's back where it started. <laughs> it went way down, way up, and then back where it started. Okay, that's funny. Lowest is 122. That's not too bad. This could be banned any list. Yeah, that, that's a little scary. Yeah, if it could be banned, we don't really want to mess with it, I think. Add it, add it. Okay, you guys want to risk it getting banned because like then it goes to nothing, right? Do we want to risk it or not? Do we think that it's going to survive? By the end of the year, will it be back? Not worth the risk. If it gets banned, it'll probably we get unbanned again eventually yeah but will it be by the end of the year is the question risk it and then collect it not worth it better to wait till it's banned okay we're gonna put a poll up on this one all right you guys are saying to buy it all right i don't feel good about this one but we're gonna do it it's gonna get banned and kill us okay 122 we're gonna add that 121.99 actually night beam ultimate rare this one was like 10 bucks so i think we're gonna buy this this thing's just ridiculously cheap this is a must an ultimate rare first edition ten dollars that could actually be in a format i mean it's not great but it could be in format so i think we're gonna buy this right 997 it's come down in the last year that's actually a good thing that's what i want to see i like these i think these are they're ridiculously cheap so this guy has two we could just buy both of these guys i mean we could buy more if you really wanted to this guy has like three at 1057 so we could buy like five what do you guys think we could buy one, buy all the $10 ones. So we buy like two, three, four. Do we want to, I mean, it, it's, it goes up here. So we could do three here. We could do one here and two. We could buy literally buy all of these. That'd be three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Should we buy 10? That's a hundred bucks. Cause then it goes up to 14. Don't buy too much. What do you guys, okay. We're going to do a poll on this one. Okay, there it is. We're buying all 10. Okay, here we go. This is our big one. Night beam, baby. We are big in on night beam. We got Baxia now. All right, 3050. What do we think about this? 3050 for a Baxia ulti? They've come way down in the last year. They were $72 at the beginning of the year. This seems like a, maybe a dip and pick up. I kind of like this. One Baxia? I think one might be decent, right? Okay, up to you guys. One is probably good. It's between, I don't know, and one. So it's up to you guys. Do you guys think it's worth 3050? Buying one? We can just buy one right here from Yu-Gi-Oh! Wonder. All right, let's do one. 3050. It's also a cool looking card. I'm not going to lie. Rescue Rabbit? Okay, Rescue Rabbit. Let's check that out. Photon Shockwave, Secret Rare. The last year, it's gone way down because it did get that CR printing, right? 21.33. Is that worth it for 21 bucks? It's not, not very expensive, I'm not gonna lie. I like this. Nah. Then we got Nah. Buy the Rabbit. Not a bad price, but I don't know if it'll rise. It's more iconic with Master Rule, I think. Now two seems good. Three card is dead. No, I like it. Zen Maidy. We're, we're voting on this one. All right, yes, we are getting this. So ideal 808, 2133 on the rescue rabbit. So we are getting close to all of our money. Yazi ulti. Wow, this thing is way down. 2389. That's really cheap. Is that worth it or what? Definitely worth. Yeah, go for it. Yes. I think I'm seeing a lot of yeses on this one. No from America. Okay, we got a back-to-back -back nose. All right. Do we want to vote or or should we just go for it? I mean, it's not much. It's 24 bucks. Go for it. Okay, we're going. We're getting this. Rising Energy Ulti is first ed. Is that right? What? This is only $4? We should buy both of these $4 ones. That's a good call. I think this is a, a no-brainer. Cybernetic Revolution? Buy collectors. It's not going to go up. You don't think this is going to get bought at, like at all? Okay, let's check the last year. 
it has gone down technically, but still there's only two available. So all it takes is one guy to like list it more than that. You know, it's not really playable. It's not that that playable. Yeah. So you guys don't. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys vote. I'm gonna let you guys vote. Should we buy the two that are uh, $4 or should we buy all? You guys want to buy all three? You're crazy. Oh my gosh. We're buying the $14 one. This lambs a lot guy is going to be so happy. He's like, thank you so much for buying this card from me. They're not going to be near mint. There's no way. All right, fiber jar. You guys weren't feeling this one, but I was feeling this a little bit. Fiber jar. Okay, here are the versions. Legacy. There's no way this is that cheap. 30 bucks for near mint first dead. Unlimited we could get for 550. Oh yeah, that's that's actually 10. 10 bucks. Get one for the memes as possible. It's taken off the list. I think there's a small chance, but okay, we're gonna vote for this one because I don't want to buy this just because I like it. I'm gonna let you guys decide. All right. A lot of you guys, that was a blowout. That's the biggest one yet. A lot of you guys think we should go first ed. So we are going to buy from the card stand a first ed fiber jar. Let's update this because I didn't last time. 856.03. Then we've got Droll. Droll, we can't afford the ulti anymore. We could get maybe like a rare or something. Rare from Tama. How much is it? These are down to, are they under a dollar? No, they're 122. Should we buy a, we could buy a playset from this guy for 125 each plus shipping. What do you guys think about this one? We could skip it or it's cheap. So we could buy a playset. I like it. I think this is decent and it's also cheap. It just gives us more variety. Let's do it. All right, Ib Justisar for our Ib fans out there. Do we buy this? Are we going to do it? It's banned, right? But do we want to do it or not? So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. It's only like four bucks. This thing was seven at the beginning of the year. It's come down. What do we think? Do it for the memes. Buy six. I'm putting a poll up for this one. All right, I'm just going to... I don't even need to wait. I don't think this is going to change. Seller offline! <laughs> we can't buy it. The seller went offline right before we did it. We can't buy him. It's fate. We we can't buy the Ib. It's a sign. I think that's a sign, honestly. I've never seen a better sign than that. The seller didn't want to sell anything. Okay, so do we want to buy Secret Rare Gate Guardian, like you guys were saying? 439. There's 23 available from Simply Unlucky Games. Do we buy 23 Gate Guardians? Buy them all. Buy 20. This is going to be a vote. I have a feeling what's going to happen on this one. Put your votes in. We got some real voters. We got some memers. I feel like the chat is in meme mode right now. That's what I'm feeling right now. Meme mode. A lot of votes. It's between one and 23 so we're somewhere between buying one of them or 20 i didn't even put zero on there i probably should have all right here we go 23 of them all right so we have what we need to what was it 90 it's like we have like 39 bucks left let's see if we can afford a battle fader i doubt it oh wait we can almost afford it we're so close what about unlimited we can afford an unlimited one. Go big on one more card. We only have $39 or 38 something. Thir if we add this, we now have $9.91. Now we still have a couple of dollars. $9.91.20. What can we get for a steal? Pecanio Moth stock. We do have enough to buy some Pecanio Moth. I'm just saying we could buy some Pecanio Moths. It could be lit. What do you guys think? Pecanio Moth. Buy them all. How many can we afford? So we could get the DB1 printing. The Metal Raiders Speed Duel or Metal Raiders Worldwide Edition. Asian English. Insane. Okay, let's see if we get the first ed. I bet it's not. It's probably actually expensive. Yes, yeah, $3. We could get two first editions or we could get unlimited for 44 cents. Just get a bunch of unlimited. I guess we just keep adding it to our card, right? Okay, so we're going to get the moth till we're all the way maxed out. Unlimited moths. So that's one. Everyone count with me. That's one moth, two moths. Oh, I skipped one. That's four moths, five moths sixth moths seven moths these are getting more expensive okay let's just add like three here and see what happens okay so it's a thousand and and ten cents so that'll be fine 79 items so i'm gonna buy these real quick just to make sure everything goes through a few moments later we have successfully ordered the packages everyone we bought for over a thousand actually but the subtotal was a thousand and ten cents basically exactly what we said this is going to be interesting we bought 78 cards versus last time i bought one two three four five six seven eight nine cards and a structure deck so when i do these update videos there's going to be a lot more to check this is going to be lit i'm excited for this